is the first film after the section 377 the verdict passed but still not everyone is accepting enough of our society after all you just have to keep doing what you're doing and just have to keep doing your job so i just want as many people to watch all my films and that will also give you know, the film the box of a success Okay, so I was reading this tweet recently. How people are like, "You, Vicky, and Ayushman are the new age Khans." I think it's just overwhelming, overwhelming when people say that. Yeah. But you can't take it seriously. Uh, so I want to do films, of course, uh, which are probably you know larger than life. But the story has to be there. It's a very impulsive decision that I take. I read it, and if I genuinely like it, I just want to say yes to it. Hi guys, this is Pooja, and today I'm here with one of the most talented actors we have in the industry right now, Rajkumar Rao. Welcome to ZoomTV.com. Thanks a lot. How are you, first of all? I'm very good. Just it's busy just promoting. It's the start of the year. Yes, the start of the year, and uh, very excited for. एक लड़की को देखा तो ऐसा लगा कमिंग आउट ऑन फर्स्ट वेब नाउ। लास्ट ईयर हैज बीन योर योर टोटली एंड व्हाट इज़ द टेक अवे फ्रॉम देयर टू दिस ईयर। जस्ट कीप डूइंग व्हाट यू बिलीव इन एंड जस्ट लिसन टू योर हार्ट। या सो आई ऑलवेज बिलीव इन दिस आई ऑलवेज बिलीव इन कंटेंट इन इन स्टोरीज and now of course it's getting its due respect and people are finally uh, you know accepting yeah uh, like like obviously you were the first one who started you know like content driven films which is now been recognized yeah. yeah usually initially it was more of star power and who is there yeah. in the film but now it's more of story and yeah, then yeah. who is there in the film. no i feel validated uh, you know something i believed in in when i started my career in 2010 i believed in all content driven stories with lsd and kai poche queen shahid and now of course uh, the trend is such that people are looking for content uh, in their films yeah. so i'm very happy i'm, I'm very happy with that with that fact what about ek ladki ko dekha to aisa laga like obviously the story yeah. or the cast what it it's, has everything rolled into it no for me it's always the story mm-hmm. which matters the most and and of course the director producer they decide who's the best fit for the part and I'm, but i feel very lucky that i have you know anil sir johi ma'am yeah. and sonam who's a dear friend uh, and they just everybody like all of them we they just fit to the part like 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 a tea to the part like they just they've done such an amazing job in the film anil sir of course we all know and juhi ma'am coming after such a long time and her her charm her it is enough to i think to light up the That's sir how is the en- energy you know on this It was just set? amazing i think everybody was was so happy being a part of this film and all of us lived like a family for two months in in patiala uh, and all of us were trying to you know uh, tell this beautiful story in, in the best way possible How did your influence like you all are from two different generations like Juhi yeah. and Anil sir and you and Sonam how did you all influence each other on the set as actors well, co-stars Well Anil sir uh, you know kind of dedication and passion both Anil sir and Juhi ma'am uh, they still have it it's very inspiring uh, but they both are very much from the generation also like they totally understand uh, because they have been working for such a long time they totally understand where and how uh, you know will it work what what line what angle what lens There's so much to learn from them because they come with such a great experience. Yeah. Super, but obviously this uh, story is not an extra uh, ordinary love story. Yeah. There is something that people are going to watch when they are in the theater. Yeah. We got to know from the trailer, obviously. What do you have to say about the film, and how do you think the audience is going to accept it? I hope they accept it uh, with a lot of love because uh, people, some people have seen the film and they are very excited about it. They they really loved it. I got great. I got so many amazing messages from a lot of people. uh they sing their uh, also they sing they're in love with sahil mirza which is my character and they love the film in totality which is the most important thing people should like the story they should like the way it's been told but i'm quite hopeful with with our film that people would appreciate it and people but would see know, something new yeah the so this is the first film after the section 377 yeah. the verdict passed so it's been decriminalized and it's come yeah. to shape so but still not everyone is accepting enough yeah. of as society after all yeah, yeah, yeah. so that way how do you think the normal audience like the common man like maybe we sitting here can talk about it and say <laughs> that it's the progressive india so did you well, have anything that's the reason we made this film for for people to change their perception if there's there's somebody out there who still feel that you know there's something which are taboo in our society so i i hope their thought process would change with our film with our story also it it's told in a very entertaining way it it's not um, intense it's not dark it talks about uh, family about friendship love um, emotions uh, in a very sweet in a way in a very sweet way so this is a very it's a very fresh take on a lot of things uh, it has a blend of everything okay so now this year you have quite a few films coming up and you have always made like you know choices very consciously it's not been all over the place yeah. it's just that like you said you believe in it and that has worked for you and i was reading this tweet recently how people are like you vicky and ayushman are the new age khans 
What do you have to say on that? No, I don't think so. Anybody can replace uh, our superstars, and I don't think so. Anybody can even touch them. They have been here for for many many years, and I'm I love them immensely. I'm a huge fan of all our superstars. So it just I think it just overwhelming overwhelming when people say that. Yeah. But you can't take it seriously. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you just have to keep doing what you're doing and just keep doing your job. And try because tell clearly stories, right now yeah. there's no formula to crack. No like formula. It's just I think like the only formula is to offer something new to our audience hmm. to, and to tell a story in a very sincere way. Yeah, and they would relate to it, they would connect to it for sure. So you have always been off after content but now how much does box office now that you've been here for so long in the industry, how does box office play a role to you now? Do you take it seriously or it's just like I do my film, give my best? Well it's not in my hands, it's not in my control but I know the power of it, I know that it is important for people to come out and watch a film that that's how i see box office mm. you know uh, box office mean that people are going out there and watching a film that's box office success and that's why we that's why we make films for people Correct. to watch so i just want as many people to watch all my films and that will also give you know, the film the box office success i just wanted to ask you one thing like all your films there is just funny khan which looks like an odd man out like you know your role was also quite abstract yeah, yeah, yeah. and it wasn't like a rajkumar film like yeah, a fan yeah, yeah. of rajkumar going and watching yeah, yeah. it so what made you take up that film like what did you believe in it that you know you should be taking well i i read the story i didn't know uh, the story i liked i i i also i wanted to work with anil sir for the first time that was happening you know as i said i'm uh, i'm a huge admirer of his his filmography his work him as a person so that film gave me that chance uh, but yeah it, it sometimes of course you know you make mistakes also and uh, i won't say funega was a mistake but i also saw the film on a friday and and i knew the problems with the film uh, so i knew it i knew it that there there are definitely problems with the film because you know i was only part i was only present when I, we were shooting my scenes yeah apart from that i wasn't there uh, but i think anil sir was fab in the film but you don't yeah, regret yeah. any such like I don't after you knew i film. think it's it's a part of your career it's part of your life now yeah if you had to review your filmography which is your favorite film so far oh man very tough to choose <laughs> uh, i won't say my favorite performance but there are films that i'm really really happy being a part of yeah like it yeah. came to me and i've so done so many it. honestly you know starting from lsd to ragini i can't say top 3 <laughs> there's newton trap but you watch all Shahid. your films after it i do i do, yes. you do yeah. Okay. Yeah, so <laughs> many films, Bareilly, Three. Everything yeah. basically. Yeah. Not everything. There are a couple of films I'm not not really, not very very fond of, but most of them I would say 90% of the films. But how have uh, the offers changed now that the script come to you? It's more content driven, or you have films like you know random koi stories bhi aati hai where you just give up. Like, well, yeah, you, how has it changed the way? I read all my scripts myself. Mm -hmm. And you get all kinds of scripts. There are scripts. Even today. Are, even today, but there are all kinds of scripts which okay. people. might feel it's amazing but for you maybe it's not correct uh, you're not seeing it that way but then yeah you have to figure out the best you know uh, possible option and that script that you connect uh, the most with and that's how i i decide any of my film it's a very impulsive decision that i take i read it and if i generally like it i just want to say yes to it will we ever get to see you do a out and out masala entertainer you know masala is also changing the definition of masala is changing now like Like Ranveer Singh had that he said it in an interview that he was always longing to do a masala entertainer <laughs> and he did Simba which yeah. uh, it had a story it was just yeah. not a masala entertainer just running around there was a story Yeah I would love to be part of such film which it has to have so you're a story open to it. I'm very open to it I'm I'm open to all kinds of stories uh, so I want to do films of course uh, which are probably you know larger than life but the story has to be there you can't sacrifice compromise your story Yeah, like just it can't tell, be yeah. just dancing around. It can't around just and be <laughs> dancing around trees and and and, yeah. and uh, anything else. Story has to be definitely has to be there. Okay, finally, message to our fans there. Let about love be about the film. Hey guys, Rajkumar Rao here. So uh, our film, Ek Ladki Ko Dekha To, is a lagai. Please go on first of Feb. I'm sure you guys have seen the trailer. If not, please go watch the trailer, watch the songs, and uh, we are very proud of the film. It's a very special film, uh, a fresh take on a lot of things. So I hope you guys will go out and watch it on the first of Feb. or maybe second of february